Hey, what's going on, guys? Jeff Koga here, and I want to talk about something real quick. Number one, something called YCRMs does not work, and how to win by letting customers manage the relationship. And it all has to do with this particular book here, okay? And uh, bottom line, I want to talk about this because in our mastermind group, about, I want to say, what, 17,000 people in that group, a mastermind group that I run, I asked the question, hey, what's the best CRM? And we got some people responding back and just to bribe them, I said, hey, whoever gives me the best answer on what the best CRM is, I'm gonna give out $25 that I'm gonna PayPal you, right? So so I asked that question and um, I'm gonna announce the winner on who that $25 winner is. And I'm literally gonna give out $25 for the best winner. But the question is again is, what's the best CRM? Because look, in this group of almost 18,000 people, right? We have people join the group and they constantly ask, what's the best CRM? What's the best CRM? What's the best CRM? And uh, I'm a firm believer that there is no such thing as a best CRM. Absolutely not. All right, and I'm gonna read some of the questions off and uh, I'll kind of announce the winner. Uh, simultaneously, I'll talk about what the topic of today's thing is real quick, is why CRM doesn't work and how to win by letting uh, customers manage the relationship instead, okay? So I'll talk about that. So let's see here. We have, I don't wanna switch this around and let's see if we can um, do this. Oh, look at that. Is that working? I don't even know. How's that red dot? I don't even know that white dot is popping up here. I should probably, instead of using my phone, I should do this. So so check this out, right? So first, we got a good friend, Meg Levu hopped in and says, uh, the one that works for you. And I honestly believe that is probably one of the better answers definitely in here, okay? Um, one of the best answers in here. And she goes on to says, I love Dub Pseudo, but it's not perfect. It's cheaper. And uh, she goes on and says, Glitchy doesn't have, okay? Um, Andrea actually said contractly, so she gave a answer. But this one is the one is, I'm announcing the winner right now. Jennifer um, Crockett Ceylon had the best answer. So she is the winner of the $25. So I'm gonna go ahead and PayPal you the money. So make sure you reach out to me. Um, and she goes on and says, I would say the best CRM is the one you actually use. Ooh, and that is so true. Okay, bells and whistles are great, but if you're not going to enter, uh, if you're not going to enter your people in um, and use the to-dos to follow-ups and contact them, then nothing will work. You can't have a system do the work for you. You have to work the system. With that said, I use Boomtown and she goes on to say. So bottom line, she state, starts off her answer with that statement. I absolutely love that. So you are the winner, Jennifer. And as you can see here, this is what I said. I said, hey, best answer gets a $25 via PayPal. Uh, last time we did this Nathan Turk one. Will you be next? And the question of the week was, what's the best CRM? So in this case, the best answer is Jennifer. I, you are uh, the winner of $25. So make sure you reach out to me. Now, let's talk about something, okay? Because when CRM, okay, it's, it's a software, and I'm a believer at this, right? Especially being kind of a marketer um, and the space of our community, right? There's tons and tons of people that sell software now. It's becoming a lot easier to create software, matter of fact. And if anyone knows anything, they know that last year, um, I invested thousands of dollars at putting together a CRM, and uh, we had literally a waiting list of people wanting to buy. But because of the product that was launched, I decided not to actually sell it. Right, it was just boo boo kaka poo poo. Okay, it was just terrible. All right, and, and could I have sold it to our industry? 100%. There was like literally hundreds of people waiting to buy and literally wanted to give me money for it because they knew that hey, if I actually launch a product that they knew I was gonna back, but I just could not. Right, and then fast forward 12 months from that time, we have what. Literally seems like every single month someone's coming up with some type of CRM in our community and some people have success, some people don't. But the truth is it's not the CRM or the any tool matter of fact, it's always are you going to work the system? And to a point where why I want to end with this on this stream is the core, the reason why I wanted to do this stream is about this particular book, why CRMs doesn't work and how to win by letting customers manage the relationship. And it's by a gentleman named Frederick Newell, all right, and it's a forward 
by another uh, great marketer named uh, Seth Godin. If you don't know who he is, highly recommend for you to check him out. And uh, they go on, okay? I'll give you kind of the bullet points, okay? But let me, let me explain. Okay, and why you should allow your customers to dictate the CRM. So this is a chapter that says, and this is a section about customer service, okay? And it says, customer service, who cares, okay? So this is a section I have tally. It says, customer service, who cares, okay? And they go on, it says, look at this, okay? It says, and this is based on the book, this book right here, highly recommend for you to get, why CRMs doesn't work and how to win by letting customers manage the relationship, okay? And in this sec section, look at this. Zymeter, an online arm of Michigan-based Dow uh, Corning that sells silicone products directly to industrial buyers, understands this. They instituted a no-service approach for some of their best customers who didn't really require follow-up uh, customer service and tech support. Michael Lanahan, commercial director of Zyameters, Zy I hope I'm saying that right, says a lot of customers are saying to us, we buy a lot of your silicones, we know how to use it, we don't need the technical expertise you're known for. And for these customers, Zyameters has set up a less expensive real-time ordering and inventory system that offers no technical support. Sales, uh, sales communications are handled primarily by email with responses normally given within one business day. This is the ideal win-win situation customers don't have to pay for tech support they don't want or need and the company is able to reduce the size of the service staff to save money all right so what does that really mean in our industry right like how many times have you heard people talk about this drip marketing campaign right get your sellers throw them in a drip marketing campaign or get some prospects and put them in a drip campaign and they presume that one size fits all type of marketing will literally convert every customer or every client and the truth is it doesn't work if it did work then with all means um, everyone will be having success with it but what happens is that when people use literally like these auto responders that they think that it's supposed to work like in a certain way and they plug and play and they just simply change the name right what happens okay the customer feels like they become a commodity they don't feel like it's not personable okay and then it ties into this here's another one that's super cool okay so I'm gonna read this right and before right some people say content is king especially in our industry right content is king they'll say that especially social media marketers that are trying to sell blog services or whatever it is or people that want to like do social media marketing and then simply what just they just post stuff on their page and stuff like that and charge you an arm and a leg right they'll say content is king i'll create the content for you right so people in our industry presume that if we can all we have to do is simply post content and then somehow we get business right post this little cool little infograph post this little blog share this blog and it's all vanilla it's all boilerplate and it just sucks and you just think you're gonna get business out of it and it says here in this same book okay it says content is not king what it turns out people want from their wireless device is a person-to-person -person communication Andrew, I can't even pronounce the last name, a former AT&T researcher who is now at University of Minnesota says content is not king connectivity is more important Boom, look at that. The killer app for 3G phones might turn out to be increased voice traffic for CMR's uh, connectivity will be uh, the key to increase dialogue with customers and dialogue to person-to-person -person communication, okay? And that's what they say. So what does that really mean? I think uh, someone says send out cards, 100%. Is that people are looking to communicate and do business with human beings, okay? It's been like that for a very, very long time. And for some other odd reason, just because of the sheer sake of technology, because now we can simply grab a phone and do videos like this and maybe even talk to people, maybe because, and or we can maybe set up emails for 30 days straight and we can simply just like put people's first name in there and we can put things in there that suddenly we don't have to have the personal touch. No. It's a lost start. It's a lost, I think, in business. And uh, this is the reason why CRMs doesn't work. And this is the reason why if you're wanting to win in the digital ways, a big part of it is letting customers manage the relationship. Because look, just like that one company that's selling the silicone product I just read from this particular book. Why would you allow one of your best customers that's telling you that, hey, dude, I don't need your customer service. I don't need to do this for me. And then you're trying to, you know, pitch the same product. So if you're in the real estate space and you're trying to do the exact same thing, right? It doesn't work like that. It just simply doesn't. Matter of fact, any business, it doesn't work like that. 
All right, so um, that's kind of my message on the Sunday. So if you're out there in internet land, try something different. Be a little bit more personal. Maybe, you know, go say happy birthday and actually send a card out. If you're shy of doing live stream or live videos and you're just simply, you know, sharing boilerplate stuff, maybe it makes sense to go hop on video and do some live streams and try that out. Heck, if you're a better writer than being on video, why don't you take some time and maybe uh, do a little simple blog type of uh, post in the social media world versus simply doing boilerplate type of content and product that you presume that that's going to somehow get you more business. Because look, everyone's pounding their chest to be heard, especially in, in this business world, in this digital revolution age. And uh, look, no CRM is going to fix the issues that you have. Technology is simply an amplifier. And it's going to amplify a lot of your weaknesses as well as going to amplify a lot of your strengths as well. So if you have never ever tried to understand business that, hey, business at the end of the day, it's a human-human connection, and you try to throw technology in the mix, and you don't understand that, it's going to be tough, especially in the sales world, especially in the sales world. And for some other odd reason, maybe it's just our industry or maybe just because I'm in it, I'm more aware of it, is that there's tons of people who presume that they're great salespeople in our industry. Yet sometimes when I watch how they present themselves, how they carry themselves, and I scratch my head and wonder, I'm just like, how are you even getting any business? And if you ever thought that, you know, and then you suddenly cross-check information on what they're doing on Zillow, and you're just like, yeah, I thought so. They're really not doing much. And I kind of chuckle and laugh, and I'm just like, who are teaching this stuff? But anyways, that's what I got. And if you're into actually uh, reading up on CRM stuff, highly recommend. Check this book out, Why CRMs Doesn't Work and How to Win by Letting Customers Manage the Relationship. It's a good read, short read. All right, till next time, we will be doing this type of a $25 giveaway every single week in our mastermind group. So if you're not part of it, make sure you search a Real Estate Marketing Mastermind and get yourself approved in there. No cost, it's absolutely free. Um, the only thing is don't be a, you know, a hole and uh, you won't get kicked out and uh, don't spam, don't promote um, your kind of stuff and uh, give value first before you take. So um, that's what I got. Love you guys. Hope you got value. If you did, share it, like it, comment, and um, I'll talk to you then. Jeff Koga, I'm out. Love you.